appreciating God who is the supreme controller of the universe and to thank Ibn Abbas and all his friends and supporters for putting together a very unique program like this and on behalf of one single Nigerian with multiple competencies on behalf of the most experienced politicians out of the Sahara and not of the Lipopo, mm -hmm. on behalf of the next president of the Free Republic of Nigeria, <laughs> Alaji Atiku Abubakar, who is unavoidably absent, but have brought his felicitation and appreciation to everyone that is here this evening. We want to say a big Thank you. The journey to salvage Nigeria from economic tantrums and financial scavengers. The journey to rescue this country. The journey to rescue this country from APC. It's a journey of no retreat, no surrender. It's a journey of no retreat, no surrender. I want to assure you that Nigeria is not only sick, but Nigeria is suffering from a cold, chronic, continental abnormality. In 2014, every Nigerian bought a bag of rice for 7,500 naira. Today, we are buying a bag of rice above 30,000 naira. In 2014, we used to travel by air on economy to Lagos for 23,000 naira economy tickets. 
Today, you need 80,000 Naira to travel by air on economy to Lagos. In 2014, Naira was 180 something to one dollar. Today, dollar is over 600 Naira to one dollar. Today, in 2014, a loaf of bread, a loaf of bread is 120 Naira. Today, under Buaria, a loaf of bread is 600 Naira. In 2014, a liter of diesel was sold for 160 Naira. Today, a liter of diesel is 800 Naira. It's 1.5 they have changed it to 1.5. And now, I want to say, I want to confirm, I want to affirm, I want to assert, that World Health Organization have said between 2015 and now they have discovered in all hospitals in Nigeria that over 25 million people have now and now from, from 800,000 we now have over 25 million people in Nigeria suffering from ulcer Waiting, waiting the cause also. Waiting the cause also. Once I say APC, you shout also. APC, APC, Ale Raba Mude also. So, if we want to cure also and hunger in Nigeria. Today I followed Alati Atiku Abubakar to the mosque for a wedding ceremony. And when I got into the mosque, when they were praying, Alati Atiku Abubakar was not sitting on the chair. He was not praying on the chair. He stood when they said, Allah, what APC Osa Nigeria said in Africa. I challenge APC just the way Atiku Abubakar was praying without a chair. Let them tell their own candidates to go and pray without a chair. Nigeria, I want to please ask Nigerians, if you are in a family, and you are five of you in that family, and only one person have PVC, then you are part of the problem of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If you belong to a fellowship or any Mami. Islamic group, Mami. and you have 30 members, and only four people have PVC, you are the problem of yeah, Atiku Abubaka. As from now as we are living here, we must decide to become change agents to move Nigeria away from the satanic manifestation of APC Nazis. to a new Nigeria. You must make sure your wife, your deputy wife, your assistant wife, your girlfriends, everybody, everybody must get a PVC. If if you have a girlfriend and she has no PVC, you place her on suspension. Until she gets a PVC, don't answer her. 
You have a boyfriend who does not have a PVC. Tell him nothing for you. Until you have PVC, nothing for you. You have driver, you have mechanic, you have a, a steward, you have a cook. Make sure everybody go and get a PVC. If you know you have PVC here, yeah, please don't lie because rapture can take place anytime. Raise your hand if you know you have PVC. Thank you. If you know you don't have a PVC, please let's be honest. You know you don't have a PVC, please raise up your hand. You can see the hands are up. I beg you in the name of the Almighty Allah. I beg you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please, tomorrow, tomorrow, go and get your PVC. You cannot love Atiku Abubakar. You cannot love Atiku Abubakar and not have a PVC. You cannot be praying for Nigeria to, to be good and you don't have a PVC. You cannot appreciate Atiku Abubakar and you want him to be president when you have no PVC. So I appeal to us, please, not only you, every Nigerian must become a democratic evangelist. Every Nigerian 